Welcome to VKS Coding. In this video, we'll talk about consistent hashing. So before jumping into the consistent hashing, first we try to understand what is the problem and what it is solving to it. So before even understanding the problem, we have to first understand about the hashing and the horizontal sharding. So without a delay, let's get started. So what is hashing? So basically hashing is a technique to generate the unique keys and based on the algorithm, it will generate the range of keys. And any uh, algorithm can be used to generate the keys. Like uh, we have a popular algorithm we know, like uh, SHA-1 SHA is the algorithm, MD5 is the algorithm. So basically, it will generate some keys on particular range, right? So if you take the example, it will generate, suppose, 0 to uh, some n keys, right? So here I have given the example, like uh, we wanted to hash it like uh, VKS. So now we are passing into this hash function that VKS. Now it is giving the value as 31. Now we wanted to store this particular 31 value to this in the hash table and the hash table size is the 5. So what we will do to make into, into the hash table ranges, we will mod the value with the hash table size. So what we do, we are going to do 31 mod 5. So it will give a value as a 1. So we will save the VKS here as 5. So basically the same thing we will be doing for uh, storing the values into the hash table and same hash function will be applicable while storing the value into the hash table and hash table is a very good data structure while storing the value and retrieving the values from the hash table. This is the about the hashing how it works and where it is used. Now let's understand what is the horizontal sharding. So uh, basically uh, there is one database. This is particularly one DB and it is having the information about the user detail and the user detail is having level like A, B, C, whatever the names will start with the alphabet A, the, this DB will keeping from A to L. Now over the time, suppose DZ, this DB is become full. Now we wanted to uh, make the solution efficient. So what we will do, we will create a three DB now, DB1, DB2 and DB3. And what we gonna do, we will say the name will start from A to D will go to the DB1 and the name will start from E to H will go to the DB2 and the name will start from I to L will go to into the DB3. So this is nothing but the horizontal sharding wise the row wise. So I hope now this uh, hashing and the horizontal sharding is clear. Now let's jump into the problem. What is the problem actually the consistent hashing is trying to solve. So suppose we have a three servers. Now we have a three DB servers. Basically it is storing the value. Suppose it, it is having a DB1, it is having a DB2 and it is having a DB3. And now uh, to make into the range or uh, to store the value into this particular DB, we are uh, doing the mod on that particular hash, hash function with the number of servers. So we have a total number of servers is three, 3 is here. So suppose we are getting the value as a tom. So we are doing the mod of 3 because we have a 3 server. So it is giving the value as 1. So we'll be storing this tom value into this db1. Now let's, next one the john is coming. Next is the john. Now when the john comes, the, we are getting the mod value as 2. So we'll be storing here as John in the server two. Now when we, uh, third one will be the Smith. When we do a mod three, it will giving us three. So now Smith will be stored in the DB3. So how, what is the problem here? So there is no problem in this solution. If the, uh, the size of the servers are fixed, but we know in the real time environment, there could be a, uh, requirement of the uh, traffic and that time we wanted to increase the server like server 4 we wanted to squeeze because there is a huge traffic we are getting so we wanted to increase that time so that time what will happen this uh, mod value will get changed right this 3 will become 4 and even some server go, goes down suppose uh, this uh, particular server 3 goes down then again the mod value will become changed right so if you uh, change the uh, servers right so the mod value this value will become changed and this is the actually the problem let's see what the problem occurs so in the next diagram see the in the next time i have added one more server here the server 4 now what is happening this mod value is changed because now we have a four server and we wanted to the value should go in the range so we have changed this mod value to 4 now when the tom is coming to get the value, so now it is giving the server 2. Now the server 2 is not having the value for the tom. 
so this is the actual problem so what we have to do so basically when we add the server 4 into the system so that time we have to do a rebalancing the tom should go from server 1 to server 2 so that when the request come from the for the tom it will serve from the db2 so this is the actual problem of the rebalancing so here i have made the changes for a one entry from uh, server 1 to server 2 but it could be changes of millions of record so basically change of millions of record is required basically rebalancing is required that is the actual problem if we don't go for ha consistent hashing there will be a huge number of record we need to shift it from one server to another server and the rebalancing is huge and to minimize the, these rebalancing we should go for consistent hashing basically that consistent hashing will reduce the uh, rebalancing so i hope the the problem is clear and what is the uh, consistent hashing is trying to solve the problem now let's understand what is consistent hashing so in consistent hashing suppose uh, we have a hash function will generate the keys between the range of 1 to n so here i have given the uh, values of generating suppose it is generating 0 1 2 so suppose if we use a SHA-1 or MD-5, so these algorithm will generate the hash function within the range. And the range, suppose here I am taking as example, it will generating from 0 to N. So that's why I have made entries here from 0 to N. Pick up these two end, starting end and the end end. If you try to uh, join these two end, it will become a virtual ring so here i have a represented here a virtual ring so basically here what i did is i tried to join it the last uh, index and the first index so it will form as a ring it will represent as a virtual ring so this is the same as what i have represented here the virtual ring this is the initial representation of the virtual ring in the consistent hashing now let's move further and try to assign the uh, servers in the, the virtual ring so we'll uh, we'll use the same hash function suppose we have a total number of server is 3 so we'll use the same hash function to hash our server first based on the uh, server name or ip address suppose this uh, server 1 with uh, server 1 hash function is giving the value as 3 so it will go to in this uh, ring the value 3 and in server 2 this hash function is running 7 then it will go to s2 here and this uh, suppose the server has function is returning s3 is returning 10 so it the, it is uh, go to in the value of 10 in this particular ring and this function uh, we have a ser three servers so basically we will use the mod 3 so mod 3 is also used here and after that we are getting this value and we have assigned these servers in the virtual ring so now let's see how this uh, quest are uh, served by these servers and how the lookup has been done. So here uh, we have a set of keys, right? So uh, suppose we are getting first key, first key we are getting and key one mod three when we are doing, then it is giving the value one. So key one will come here. And when we are doing, when we are getting key two, when we are doing mod three, because we have a number of server three, we have assigned these uh, servers in the virtual ring uh, in the before slide based on the same hash function now again we are doing for server 2 uh, we, we now we are doing for the uh, assignment of the keys now when the key 2 key 2 comes and we when we do mod 3 it will give a value 2 so key 2 will come here now when we check for key 3 mod 3 it gives a value 4 so key 3 will come here now when we see for key 4 mod 3 its value is 6 so now key 4 will come here now when we see for key 5 mod 3 is 8 so key 5 will come here now when we check for key 6 mod 3 9 it the value will come here so now how the basically the request are going to fulfilled by these servers so basically we have to go clockwise and whatever the servers will come first will serve this request so we'll go to clockwise here we'll go to clockwise we'll go clockwise so here key key one will go clockwise so server one will come so key one will be served by server one then key two will go to clockwise then it is coming server one then key two will serve by server one and again this key three will go to clockwise then the, it will be served by the server two 
now the key 4 will go to the clockwise it will be served by server 2 now the key 5 will go to clockwise then it will be served by server 3 now if you go to key 6 then it will be served by server 3 so this is how the request is gonna serve and uh, how the lookup has been performed so similar way the lookup has been performed when the key 1 will come then we will same thing will do will key 1 uh, mod 3 will do so it will return the value 1 so same thing will go to the 1 and whatever the server comes first so it will be served by the server 1 so I hope it is clear the how the key distribution is done and how the lookup has been performed so this is the idea behind the consistent hashing now let's see how the that mod problem actually trying to solve in the consistent hashing because this is the uh, basic uh, functionality of in the consistent hashing how the keys are assigned and how the request distributions are happening and lookups are happening but even the servers addition of the servers happening and removal of the servers happening then what happened actually in that time let's see that and try to understand how that consistent hashing fixing that particular problem so here we have a original server so basically if we go to the uh, clockwise here if we go to clockwise then key 1 key 2 will be served by server 1 and key 3 key 4 will be served by server 2 and uh, and this key 5 key 6 will be served by server 3 so key 5 key 6 will be served by server 6 now we have a original server with the key distribution so we went ahead with the clockwise and these are served by the, by these servers s1 s2 and s3 now we have added a new server now we have added a new server s4 then how it's gonna affect and how much rebalancing is required let's check now though again we have to do the same thing we have to go clockwise and we have to assign the server assign the server which will fulfill the request so now when key 1 will go here as a clockwise so it will be served by same key key 1 will be server 1 when key 2 go to clockwise it will serve by server 1 only when key 3 will go to the clockwise it will serve by server 4 when key 4 go clockwise then it will serve by the server 2 now key 5 when it goes to clockwise it will serve by the server 3 and when key 6 will go to clockwise it will serve by the server 3 so when you see here the s1 is kind of unaffected here s1 is unaffected and s3 is also unaffected here see s3 is also unaffected s5 and k5 k6 are remain served by the server 3 only s2 is affected so here if you see only one entry from uh, this uh, server to k3 will be served by k4 so redistribution become very less here if you see shifting of record become very less when we have added a new server now this we have seen the example for adding a new server and we have seen how much shifting of record we have required now let's see what is happening when we remove one server from the consistent hashing ring again see, same thing will do will go clockwise and see how the key distribution will be served by these servers so key 1 key 2 will served by k1 server 1 and this key 3 key 4 will be served by key 3 key 4 will be served by server 2 and this key 5 key 6 will be served by server 3 now suppose this s1 server is went down right so what will happen in this case so what will happen in this case we'll do the same thing this key one key two what will do happen is it will go to the clockwise and whatever the server come first will serve those requests by those servers suppose s1 is went down then it will go to the s3 because key one when it goes to the clockwise it will this will be the first server so s2 this request will be served by s2 now key one will be served by s2 and now key two will be also served by s2 so when we go to the clockwise after uh, removal of the server this request will be served by s2 so if you see again s3 is unaffected so very less redistribution is required because of that we are going for consistent hashing now we have seen what happens when we add the server and what happens when we remove the server but still we have a problem with this consistent hashing let's see the what is the problem and how we can solve this particular that problem so what is the uh, problem with the current design with the consistent hashing so the current design of the problem with the consistent hashing is the not uniformly distributed because when we use these hash 
function right uh, to assign these servers and to assign the uh, keys to be served by these servers let's see this example suppose when we do key1 mod3 uh, 1 it is coming k1 as a 1 when we do key2 mod3 it is coming key2 is here when we do mod k3 mod3 it is coming here when we do k4 mod3 it is coming here and when we do key5 mod3 it is coming here and we do k k6 mod3 it is coming here so now if you see if we go clockwise server 1 will be served by k1 k2 k3 k4 and for s2 there will be only one key need to be served and for s3 there will be only one need to be served so if you see the uh, distribution is not uniformed so this is the actual problem we are seeing here the distribution is not uniform uh, with the current approach uh, because uh, the S1 is serving the uh, more request here and S2 and S3 is not loaded as compared to S1. So uh, this is the actual problem request is not uniformly distributed. So how we gonna solve this problem is by creating the virtual node. Virtual, what is the virtual node? Virtual node will refer to the same real node. Suppose we have a three servers. Suppose we have a total again we have a three server here total number of server is 3 and s1 so we'll create for a server 1 three virtual node s1 underscore 1 s1 underscore 2 and similar way for a second server we'll create a three virtual node and for a third server we'll create a three virtual node and these virtual node we again assign into the rings so similar way i have shown the representation for the assignment of the first server in a green color and the second server in the yellow color and the blue color by the server 3 so how these servers will be now assigned in the rings suppose any request will come suppose any key will come here then again will go uniform clockwise here again will go clockwise and whatever the server will come first suppose s1 underscore s1 underscore 1 is coming for key 1 s1 underscore 1 is coming it means it will be served by s1 server this request will be served by s1 server so similar way if it is coming for s2 it will be served by s2 server if it is coming for s3 it will be served by s3 server so we we are we are basically created a lot many virtual node that will refer to the actual the same node so even the request will come to this node it will go to the server 3 only so what is the benefit of creating the virtual server if we increase the number of virtual node right so then the distribution of key become more balanced so that is why we use a virtual node so whatever the we have seen the problem here with the current design that could be solved by this virtual node so this could be solved by the virtual node now let's see the conclusion of this consistent hashing so consistent hashing can be used for uniformly distribute the keys for first advantage and where it can be used it can be used in place of load balancer when we are when we are distributing the request in that place we can uh, use the consistent hashing and when we are using the horizontal sharding to scale the CDN database cache, there also can be used uh, consistent hashing to distribute the request uniformly. And uh, when we uh, use the consistent hashing, basically there will be a K by N remapping is required means rebalancing is required where key refers to the number of keys so this is all about the consistent hashing please do subscribe my channel to get the more update on system design topics